Right, I thought I'd do a video today because I've just come back from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday away. Um, I'm really running late because I had to go to the supermarket this morning. You wouldn't believe the pile of washing I've got, uh, dirty washing. I've had a fantastic break, really, really have, and I'll talk about that more in the text of the blog. Um, but I just thought I would show you the, the absolutely amazing stuff that I bought when I was down there. I always go to a particular shop and I will put a link on the video to the shop. But if you all go in there and buy the white gorgeous stuff, I'll never speak to you again. If I go next time and there's nothing left. Now they have, if you saw the pictures I put on Facebook and Instagram, they have enough white to buy to last a lifetime. But you have to look through it and decide, I have to decide from a personal point of view, whether it's really of any use to me. A lot of it is very heavy and thick tablecloths and things like that that are really beautiful, there's nothing wrong with them, but I kind of go for the more delicate stuff in my work. So I tend to find the delicate stuff in the little drawers that I put on Flickr, the wonderful cabinet with all the drawers. So it might seem as if I didn't buy a lot in that vintage shop, but I am quite choosy, and bear in mind I also have stuff at home as well, um, so I don't unnecessarily buy if I don't think I will ever use it. So I bought this, uh, this is like a little table, cloth thing with white work on it and a lovely edge and um, beautiful piece of cloth uh, i think it's probably about two foot by one foot in size and this cost me four pound fifty i don't know in dollars maybe ten dollars um a bit less than ten dollars perhaps so that's that one and then i bought a lot of like old trimmings like this one is lovely, this is really old and some of them, there's not very much of them, that's all there is of that one and that was £1.50, $3 perhaps, maybe a little bit less. This one is a little bit yellowy, I might try and wash this, it's got yellowing areas in it. I can't remember how much this was, I think it was 75 pence a metre and there was three metres of this, so I got that one. This one, I absolutely love this one, this is so fine and so delicate, so beautiful. Um, this was quite expensive, I can't remember exactly, but again, this was per metre and there's about two metres of this. Might have been about £4 for that, but to me it's just priceless, you know, I don't mind paying that for that. And then another one here, this was like 75p, or oh, here we are, it's here. That was a pound, so it's $1.50 perhaps, that's another one. Um, and then I bought these, these are like little napkins white napkins with white work in the corner but beautiful edges so there's a thing in one corner here but that doesn't mean that these edges are useful for something else i'll get maximum use out of these there's four of these so i'm really happy with them but this i am so delighted with this this is just a scrap of fabric an off cut probably about a quarter of a meter but how beautiful is that it's got all this going on on the edge and then the rest of the fabric is embellished as well and it's even had some cut out of it that's how it was sold to me with that bit missing so somebody's obviously made something with this and this is what's left from that the remnant from that and that was two pound so maybe three dollars fifty three dollars something like that and I, I know I'm going to use this, but I know I'm going to be devastated when it's all gone. I'll be really upset. Um, and my daughter, when I was down there, my daughter has a wrapping cloth that she has laid on her bed. But now she said she would like a full-size bed one in terms of width, but not height. So almost like a long, a long thin throw that extends across the whole bed. So I'm going to make one of those for her. So this will probably be used in that. And then this I put on, I found this in a charity shop or a thrift shop, 95 pence, which is less than a pound. And it's just stunning. I mean, look at the edge, it's a nightdress case. So it's got this amazing edge and all this beautiful fabric here, but the absolute cream of the crop, the absolute thing that sent me into raptures was this beautiful little label that's stitched in there. And it says Rose D Blunt. So Rose, have no fear, I will cherish this, I will use it in something and I will make this label prominent because this label just, I couldn't believe my luck when I found that. So that is wonderful, I love that. So they're my vintage finds. And you might not think, as I say, you might think that's not a lot, but I'm more than delighted with that. Now then I went to John Lewis and bought new fabrics. Now this is lace. I bought a metre of this lovely lace. This lace class is started on Monday, as you know. 
and I can have so much fun with this and a metre will go a long way in lace class okay this would probably last me for four or five lace classes so I got that and then I also got a metre of this beautiful broderie anglaise fabric which the whole surface is covered with this patterning, this broderie anglaise patterning I love that and then I got a metre and a half of this now you might think this is quite plain this is just like stitched in strips okay just stripes of stitching now if you imagine especially if you've done the wrapping cloth class if you cut this up and laid them at opposing angles so the lines are going in different directions i mean this will be a brilliant filler in any piece of work that i do little bits big bits as i say going in opposite directions it'll be wonderful to stitch on it's 100 percent cotton and i've got a meter and a half of this because i want to use this to back the wrapping cloth i'm making at the moment so that's why i got more of that so I got back yesterday afternoon, quite late yesterday afternoon, and all I did was had a bath and put my pyjamas on. Didn't turn the computer on, so today I have to go on Flickr, see what the class has been up to while I haven't been here. I've got to make them a video for tomorrow. Um, none of these are chores. I'm really looking forward to getting into Flickr, even though I'll probably pass out with the amount of pictures that are in there that I need to look through. But never fear, I will get round to doing that if you're in class and you will get your video tomorrow if you're in class but also on top of that last night I did do a little bit of stitching and I did a little bit of stock taking to remind myself of where I'm up to with things that are in progress so what I did do was I looked at this this is for the pouch so I have two sections finished now for the pouch so the next process for this that I'll be doing this week is joining these two sections together backing it then manipulating it into a pouch form and hand finishing the edges on that and I'm hoping to have that done by the weekend so that's that and then pin cushions I've got two here this will be cut to make two pin cushions that one's completely finished and damp stretched so for example one pin cushion will be like that and the same on the other side for the next one and then my second strip for pin cushions is here and that side of it is finished I finished that before I went away and this side is what I was working on last night so I'm just going to pull this in a little bit okay turn this round just slightly sorry about that because I just wanted to show you here how these lovely little pockets have formed here just by overlapping the trim and the lace and now these have got buttonhole lace edges that I put on there last night and these this French knot rum thing going on here in different colours and then I've also done buttonhole lace around the edge of this silk tissue and then again I've got the French knot thing continuing down there I've took, I'm going to take pictures of this so hopefully you'll see that better and then also I've got bullion knots going up there so that's what I did last night when I got back okay so that's the video I'm going to leave it at that because I've got so much to do this afternoon I'm so excited about the plans I've got especially I've got a plan for another class it's just going to be called something like simple that might be its name simple and it will just be about embroidery and as I embroider I will show you what I'm doing I'll tell you why I'm doing it and you can embroider along with me but that probably won't be anywhere near being even mentioned properly till next week because I've still got my wrapping cloth girls to look after they need my attention at the moment and I'm not going to let them down but you know keep an eye out for that simple embroidery thing okay and then obviously lace class starts on Monday as well so I've got videos and samples to make for that so it's going to be all go from now on my break was so hectic but I mean wonderful but I need a holiday now to get over the uh all the hecticness of being away and the, you know the the rushing around that we did and but doing wonderful stuff and I had such a good time I can't even begin to tell you but I'll talk about that as I say more in the uh, blog post today and but I really did miss you for all I had a lovely time and I wish I was still there with my daughter and I wish I had access to the wonderful things London had to offer on a more regular basis I still miss this and I miss you and I miss the blog and I miss my classes and I miss my girls I just wish I could move everything lock, stock and barrel down to London 
but that's not going to happen. So, and then, then looking at it the other way, I've got the best of both worlds, haven't I? Because I come home and I've got this, and I can go there for that. So, you know, I'm very, very fortunate. I feel such like such a lucky, blessed person.